Hey everybody, welcome back to RC with Adam. My name is Adam. This is the Flysky FSI6X. Right now it's my favorite transmitter. What I want to do today is explain what aux switches are, and I'm going to show you how to enable them on the i6X. So stay with me, I'm going to walk you through the whole process right now. First of all, let me explain what aux channels even are. So on a transmitter, you have channels, and channels are used to control usually a specific thing like a servo or a motor and so you have four channels taken up on your main controls being your sticks right here channel one typically channel one channel two channel three and channel four so you have your four main channels so any additional channels are going to be considered auxiliary channels so in the case of fly sky uh, what you're going to have in this in this particular radio it's a 10 channel radio and so it has these extra switches to control the auxiliary channels, the extra channels beyond these four right here. So, and the way I usually set it up is so that you have, you know, the switches for uh, each channel. And so I set it up like channels one through four, and then channel five, channel six, channel seven, channel eight, channel nine, channel 10. And the reason why I use the, the channels nine and 10 for these two uh, knobs is because I rarely use them, so I figure I'll just I'll just keep it you know sequential on this on the switches here instead of breaking it up in the middle with the knobs. So that's not too complicated. One thing that might catch you up is if you fly FPV racing type drones and you use the configurator beta flight, you'll notice that when you want to configure uh, different modes, it'll say aux one, aux two, aux three, so and so on. Um, but what they're actually talking about is aux channels. So aux one in this case would be the first auxiliary channel. So uh, there's, it's not talking about channel one, it's talking about auxiliary one. So in this case, auxiliary one would be channel five, auxiliary two would be channel six, and so on. And again, the way I have these switches set up is just my personal preference. Now I'm going to show you how to actually turn it on and configure the switches in the transmitter. So we're here in the main menu. I have a new profile set up. And what I'm going to do is, is press and hold uh, OK to enter the, the main menu here. And then we're going to go in the system setup. Now you'll see, we're going to scroll down to the very bottom, to the aux switches. Now you'll see on mine, I already have this turned on. And because it's in the system menu, you don't need to turn this on for every model. Um, once you turn it on, it will stay on. So you want to use the up and down, or just the one of the up and down keys to turn your switches on or off. In this case, they're already on, but yours would probably show up as off if you haven't turned them on yet. So then you can press OK, and you can move to different ones. Down here at the very bottom, you want to make sure that you set your channel to 10. So that way you're using the maximum amount of channels that you can, because it will go all the way down to channel 6 which would mean you'd only have two aux switches. So once you have this configured like this, press and hold cancel to make sure that it saves, go back in, make sure it's exactly how you want it, and then we can get out of here. Now let's get back into the main menu, press and hold OK, but this time we're gonna go to the function setup, press OK, and then we're gonna scroll down to aux channels right here. Now you can see here in the aux channels menu, um, this comes with like a default switch setup. So this is what you want to configure uh, for each new profile in the transmitter. So we can use the up and down arrows to select which switch we actually want. Now I'll just go ahead and show you how I would normally set this up um, for pretty much any model that I'm flying, just so that it's kind of standardized. What I'll do is I will set up channel five for switch A, channel six, for switch B, channel 7, for switch C, channel 8, for switch D, and then channel 9. I'll set that up as variable A, and channel 10, variable B. And then I will press and hold cancel to make sure that it's saved. Go back in and scroll through these, switch A, B, C, D, and the variable switches. So good. That's uh, that's working. And then what we can do actually is go to display right here. So in the display setting, you can see which switches are which 
right here. So switch uh, or channel five is going to be switch A. You can see it moving there. Channel six, switch B. So this is just kind of a helpful thing to make sure that your switches are working and that they're set to how you want it to be. And there you go, folks. That's what aux switches are and how to enable them on the Flysky i6X. Thanks for watching. I hope this was helpful for you. If it was, leave me a comment. And if you have any other questions about uh, the Flysky transmitters, leave me a comment. And maybe I or someone else will be able to help you. Uh, consider subscribing to this channel if you like this kind of content and you want to see more of it. Because I would super appreciate your subscription. That would be like super cool. Thanks for watching and I'll see you very soon. Mm -hmm.